We're back in Cherry's Kitchen. It's been a while, hasn't it? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Cherry's Kitchen. Today I thought I would make some really cute festive treats. You're going to need some Rice Krispies and about six cups worth. Some marshmallows, about 10 and a half ounces of them. And try and just get the white ones. I could only get the pink and white ones, but hey, it'll have to do. Some green food coloring because it is a festive Christmas color and that is what we're going for. Also gonna wanna get your hands on some decorations. And for this, I have got some multicolored stars and some crisp silver pearls. Also gonna wanna get your hands on some icing because I'm too lazy to make my own, but you can totally make your own if you want to. And last but not least, gonna drop the butter on the floor because you can't catch. You need about three tablespoons, I just have a block of it. And yeah, the last thing that you are actually going to need, which I forgot to get because I'm stupid, uh, you need some Rolos or some little miniature Reese's cups to make the little tree trunks, but I don't have any, so our trees are just not gonna have any stumps. Sorry. I just want to point out that I've never made these before. I've never made Rice Krispie treats with marshmallows. So this will either go really right or really wrong. But hey, there's only one way to find out. So let's do the thing. Okay, so we are going to take these marshmallows, put them in the microwave, obviously not in a metal dish because that would be really dangerous. I'm gonna put them in a glass bowl. I've never microwaved a marshmallow. I don't even know what's gonna to happen to you, but farewell, my friends. Please do the thing. 30 seconds? Is that too long? I don't even have a light on my microwave because it's broken so I can't see anything. My trusty blue spatula. This is like my favorite kitchen utensil ever and the marshmallows are done. So let's have a look. Are you done? I think you are done. Hold on, it smells good. That looks pretty good to me, look. Wow, I'm actually proud. Who'd have thought that I could microwave a marshmallow? We're gonna need three tablespoons of butter and I'm literally just putting my tablespoon into the butter and it's going into the microwave because someone leaves butter in the fridge and it's never usable. So go into the magic bowl. This is exciting. Okay, come on. Out you come, butter. Yep, I have sufficiently melted. Excuse me, I turned you off. Stop, stop it. I'm putting my butter into my marshmallow mix. I feel nervous holding this bowl because I am prone to dropping things. Let's just stir you on up. You look like vomit right now. Okay, so once you have your buttery marshmallow mixture, I've never thought about mixing marshmallows and butter. We are going to want to take our green food coloring if we can open it, because it's got a really tiny lid. If in doubt, don't do that because it's really bad for your teeth. Okay, we are going green. Are we going as green as we want? I'm not sure. Once you are happy with how green your mixture is, we are then gonna put the Rice Krispies into the bowl because, you know, that's, that's what makes the Rice Krispie trees. We're gonna wanna put about six of these little cute cups of Rice Krispies into our green Christmas marshmallow mixture. My cat's outside staring at me. Hi, friend. I love you. One, two, three and a bit because I spilt some. Four, five, and then the final cup. Do, 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 do. We're gonna mix them all up. And this is what makes our green Christmas trees. I believe in you. Become, become as green as you want. It's fine. Become the Christmas trees that you were born to be. Once you have covered all of your Rice Krispies in green Christmas tree sludge, I mean, it, to be fair, it probably could be a little bit greener if you wanted them to be, but I totally wanted them this way. I genuinely don't know how to make these into tree shapes. I might have to Google this. I might Google it. I'm gonna Google it. I saw that you're meant to lube your hands. I know that sounds really wrong, but you're meant to put butter on them and then you can mold them with your hands into little trees on here. I'm just gonna take a slice of butter and put it in my hands. Why did I do this? Why have I not rolled my sleeves up? That's the question. So I've actually let my mixture set for a little bit. I don't know how set it is. This will probably go really wrong, but we're going to try and mold some mix. We're gonna take, I'm just gonna take some mix and try and make them into little tree shapes. Are you gonna do the thing? Are you gonna be a tree? Be a tree. That's all I'm asking. 
kind of a fat tree. Oh, I've made a fat tree. Does it look like a tree? It, it kind of looks like a tree. I have three trees. That one's kind of stumpy, but hey, all trees are friends, okay? It doesn't matter if you're short. It doesn't matter if you're a little bit rounder than the rest of the trees, because at the end of the day, you're just trying to fit in. Once you're happy with your little Christmas trees, which, you know, they could be better, they could be worse, they could be a lot worse. You're gonna wanna wash your hands because I'm currently covered in slimy, sticky, green, crispy goop. You're gonna wanna put them into the fridge to set and pray to the kitchen gods that they do set, because if they don't, I've just made goopy mess for nothing. So let's do that. I put them in the fridge and I'm gonna leave them in there for about half an hour. And in the meantime, I'm gonna eat some of this mixture because I think I made too much. Funny you know I <laughs> Okay, here they are, my little trees. That that don't be mean to them, okay? They're just stunted. And now I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer into my life and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna decorate those. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You ready? Okay. Take some of my little yellow stars and put them on the top of the trees. Look how cute that is. That's so cute. Okay, and there's gonna be one on each. So, yep. No, you flopped. Okay, you can stay there. Look at me go. Look how good it looks, lol. And that is how I made my little cute Christmas trees. I'm actually really happy with how these turned out. I mean, my icing could perhaps do a little bit of work, but hey, we don't have to talk about that. I think they look cute. I think they look festive. And overall, I am happy with how they turned out. Let me know down in the comments if you are gonna attempt to make your own little Christmas trees because I'm not gonna lie, they're probably gonna be a lot better than mine. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a bit of a like and subscribe if you're new here because I make brand new videos every single week. And I guess I will see you next time. But for now, I'm gonna go and eat my little Christmas trees and it's gonna be fab. <laughs> Why won't you be festive with me, you Grinch?